Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ellie and I do mainly fashion related videos. I would really appreciate it if you follow me on Instagram. You see somewhere on the screen my Instagram page. I upload my outfits there on daily basis and I hope that you will like my content on there as well. In today's video, I wanted to share with you which are my favorite trends for the new year. Most of these trends are actually ongoing trends from 2022. I wouldn't say that they are that new, but just by doing my research, they are considered as being trends currently for this year. So I would say that I have picked for this video the trends that are actually quite timeless or I would personally consider the trends that I'll be talking about in this video as quite timeless. As I already said, most of these trends are actually ongoing from 2022. I really don't like adding trendy items into my wardrobe that I don't see myself wearing in a few years time. I always ask myself whether I would wear the item in a few years time when it's no longer considered trendy. If the answer is yes, then I would proceed with purchasing the item. Another tip that I can give you guys is to write down a wish list. And whenever you feel the urge to impulse buy something, just write down that particular thing on your wish list and wait a week before buying it and see whether you have actually thought about this item at least once during that week. The chance that you haven't thought about this item even once during that week is quite high and this would mean that you don't actually need that item or that you didn't like it as much as you initially thought. This is something that I personally like doing and I do think that it really helps. There have been times when I wanted to buy something, I thought that I really like it, I really need it and I wanted to impulse buy it but I have stopped myself in the past and then even after adding it into my wishlist, I just uh, forgot uh, to look at my wishlist entirely for, let's say, a couple of weeks and I just entirely forgot about wanting that item. So let's get started with the first trend, which is maxi skirts. I really like denim and satin maxi skirts. I already have one denim and one satin maxi skirt in my wardrobe, so I am not planning on adding any more. You can style them in a more formal way, but also in a more casual way. I will show you some of my personal outfits for inspiration and also some runway looks and some Pinterest outfits. During winter, I love wearing them with an oversized knit and also with a fitted turtleneck combined with an oversized blazer as you will be able to see in one of my reels. I wear them with sneakers, loafers, square-toed boots. The options are endless in my opinion. It just all depends on the vibe that you're going for. Moving on to the second trend, which is called pocket change as per Vogue. I would say that this trend is very nice. If you add just one piece in your wardrobe that has an interesting placement of the pockets, you can combine that one piece with so many different simple outfits and that particular piece will, uh, you know, add an extra visual interest to your outfit. And by adding that visual interest, it will elevate your whole look, in my opinion. In my wardrobe, I already have two particular items that I would consider as suitable for this category. I have a blazer and a wool coat. My wool coat is quite a recent purchase from Mango. And then my blazer I bought last summer, and I've already had the blazer in my wardrobe for quite some time. As much as I like the look of cargo skirts and cargo pants, I am not planning on purchasing any at the moment, mainly because I don't actually see myself wearing them in a few years' time, which is quite a problem for me, as I don't want to have pieces in my wardrobe just for, let's say, six months or something like that, and then I would have to sell them or just not wear them which will be even worse so, so i'm not really into that i don't want to be adding any of those pieces if i'm not sure that i'm going to be wearing them for a long period of time whereas the wool coat and the blazer weren't bought with the intention of being trendy i bought them just because i really like them and i do see myself wearing these pieces for many years ahead 
they are very easy to style they go so well with so many minimal outfits so i personally really like those kind of pieces i will try to find some similar ones and link them down below moving on to the third trend which is called pillow talk I would say that this trend is more about delicate uh, clothing items in general, such as silk, satin, lace. I love all of these fabrics and I do incorporate them a lot into my wardrobe, especially during spring and summer, but definitely in a less girly way that you may imagine. I will insert some of my outfits in which I have included satin or lace, so you can see exactly how I like uh, wearing those type of fabrics. So overall, I really like this trend, but I personally don't wear many sheer clothing items, especially in the city. But as I said, I do appreciate the trend, I do appreciate it on other people, especially when it is styled in a more masculine way. Moving on to the next trend, which is big bags. So I do really like big handbags, but this doesn't mean that those are going to be the only bags that I'll be wearing throughout the new year. I do look forward to styling them in many different ways this year. I already have some outfit ideas planned with some of my bigger bags. I am especially excited for one of the bags that you'll be seeing uh, right now on the screen. I recently filmed a reel with this bag and I do think that uh, this will probably be one of my most worn big bags for this year. I would say that they are very easy to style. If you do actually want to buy one, I would suggest buying one in a neutral color and, and one that is not too structured but not too slouchy either. I do have two big bags that are slouchy and all of my other big bags are either somewhere in the middle or they're more on the structured side. I do really enjoy wearing my slouchier bags but I would say that they are a little bit more restrictive. You won't be able to wear them with absolutely every single outfit so that's why I think it's better to buy something that's uh, more in the middle that is not too slouchy. This way you'll be able to wear it for more formal looks as well but also for casual looks. Whereas the slouchy bags are definitely more on the casual side can't really dress them up as easily as you would be able with other bags. And the last trend that is on my favorites list is leather. It was a very popular trend in 2022 as well. It's a trend that I would say that it almost never goes out of style, but it is considered still being like a very big trend for this year as well. This would include leather jackets, trench coats, trousers, anything leather really. I personally love wearing leather trench coats and leather trousers, especially leather trousers that are a little bit more slouchy and not so much the slim fitting ones. I don't really enjoy those as much. I am thinking about adding a leather jacket into my wardrobe, but I'm still unsure whether I want an oversized one or one that has a normal fit or something in between. I for sure know that I don't want uh, one that is very extremely fitted because that's just not my style. I'm just still unsure, so I'm gonna take my time on that and uh, try out a few different ones with different fits, different color. Of course, we already know that it's gonna be a neutral colored one, but I am not sure on the color either, so... I would definitely have to think about it a bit more before um, actually purchasing one because I don't want to have to buy a few leather jackets and like regret some of the purchases. I just want to buy one that's good quality and that will be all. My goal for this year overall is to really take the time to think about the item before purchasing it. I just want to be completely sure that the color is right, the fit is right and, and and of course, I want to make sure that it will go nicely with a lot of different outfits in my wardrobe. So these are my favorite trends for the new year. I do also like the denim trend. And I also like the fact that minimal style and elevated basics would be considered trendy this year. Because I do wear them all year round anyway. So. But I did just want to inform you guys that if your style is more minimal like mine, 
and you like more neutral colored things and you do like though to add elevated basics into your wardrobe then this year would be your year i would say i will put some links to the resources that i used for uh, this information this way you'll be able to read about some of the other trends as well that i haven't included in this video as I did want to include just the ones that are actually my favorite and I am actually looking forward to wearing them this year but there are some other interesting trends like 3D floral details for example and clothing items that I do really um, like I don't see myself wearing them that often I do actually have uh, two tops in my wardrobe that kind of have uh, this type of 3D uh, flower detail. I do for sure have a photo with one of those tops so I will insert it somewhere here but I personally wear this top a few times since spring and summer. It's not something that I see myself uh, constantly wearing. I have it in my wardrobe for many years now and I like it but I wouldn't add more than two pieces let's say in my wardrobe that are with a similar effect. I would really love if you guys share in the comments whether you like any of these trends or maybe you like another trend that I haven't included in this video so I would love to read about that as well. Once again, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as I am very active and I try to do my best there so I would really appreciate your support. I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you do have any ideas for future videos, you can also leave those in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!